Let's Make Faces by Hannah Piven. Making faces is fun, but where do we start? First, let's find some. The world is filled with faces. waiting to be discovered. Look at these fruits and vegetables. What more can you see? I see Faces. Now look at these tools from the garage. I bet you'll find faces too. When you go out to the garden, you will meet new friends. Now that we've found faces, we are ready to make faces. Let's gather more stuff. Eyes. Noses. And mouths. A sad face. A goofy face, a monster face, a scared face, a mommy face, a daddy face, a sleepy face. A snoring face. A party face. Now it's your turn. Let's make faces. Try to find these objects or similar objects in your house and see how many different faces you can make with them. How to make faces. Number one, more is more. Gather a lot of objects. Having lots of stuff around will help you find the right combination to use. Two, let go. Don't worry if you don't have an idea. As you start working, you'll start getting ideas. Three, observe. Let the materials guide you. Let them show you what they want to become. Number four, watch for all the happy mistakes. Lots of good ideas will happen by chance. Be aware of them. Look out for them. Number five, trial and error is good. The more possible combinations of objects you try, the better the chances of creating something great. Number six, Rome wasn't built in a day. Don't worry if at the beginning your face isn't coming together. It's a normal, stay with it and it will improve. Seven, play, play, play. Playing is a part of any artistic activity. The more playing you do, the freer you will become and the more ideas will come to you. Oh, and always remember, have fun.